it also know I think it extends beyond race, actually. And if you look at gay Republicans, they are also. And we just talked, my one more thing yesterday was about that, that the left does not embrace gay Republicans either, um, even though what they wanted was equality. And right. now that they get it, they don't accept it. Well, it's just so weird because, you know, Eric, when I think about it, I think there's so many values issues where the black community is actually pretty conservative. I mean, I could go down death penalty. I can talk about gay rights. I can think about church. The black community is right there. And yet somehow these folks say you're not with us unless you hold to strictly liberal thinking in terms of race in America. Well, you're a great example. How, how are you treated when, when you're, uh, uh, you know, amongst uh, conservatives and liberals no, by well, the liberals? Well, it's not good. I just, that's why I say <laughs> it, seems, it seems to me that there's something wrong, though, because it's, it's stopping growth in the community. In other words, you've got to have conflicting ideas to produce the best ideas. But somehow people think I unless like that. We, what I like that. You th well, I think it's right, don't you? Sure. But I mean, you think back even to the history. I mean, you think back to people like Frederick Douglass. He was a Republican, but I think he no. Is he going to check check Frederick Douglass's race at the door now? No. I mean, yeah, that's the hypocrisy, and it's um, it's very divisive. It's certainly not inclusive, and I think it's small minded. All of those things. Nicely done. Thank you. By the way, are you? Are you but you, you're not black. No, no. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> one more thing. Up next. <laughs>